You're watching Twashy House. I'm Twashy, and this is Chips. And this is the NR200P, Cooler Master's answer to the recent SFF call in Enthusiast PC building. SFF stands for Small Form Factor, and mark my words, SFF is going to explode in popularity as builders look for refinement. And like the roar, a V8 will slowly fade away into the distance of time in favor of electric vehicles. Gone will the days of gigantic systems in favor of desk base. Especially when that old water-cooled PC rig can't keep up with the likes of a new MacBook. That rig starts to look as ridiculously over the top as the 1997 Batman and Robin. For me at least, I think it's time to take my PC off the wall. Subscribe! Let me know in the comments what you think of Small Form Factor and if you would like a chance to win the NR200P. The Oster Toaster is a 7 level toaster that can handle sliced bread, pop tarts and bagels. Half levels are a welcome feature to dial in the perfect toast and a cancel button puts you behind the wheel of your toaster. Get your Oster Toaster today at participating Target retail stores for toast should have no compromises. Lately I've had no clue where this channel is going. I've been distracted with cars. travel and moving. I bought a house and now feel like an old grumpy get off my lawn kind of person, completely irrelevant to the YouTube on the internet Windows computer. But look, <laughs> I've kept filming. I got an Apple TV 4K. It sucked. But update to that review, looks like the experience has gotten a lot better and I still have mine. Is it worth the price? Is a mechanical keyboard worth the price? I got a keyboard that also is a PC and a private cloud storage, and a password manager, Git repo, and a Bitcoin node. I started a private Discord channel on setting up the Bitcoin node and opening lightning channels. And I stopped using a mechanical keyboard. In the past, I've made many promises that I will upload more shit on a regular schedule, relaunch the VAM show, and be a real YouTuber. But this is the new me, and I will never, ever lie to you. I promise nothing going forward. Reddit hates me. Seems like every time I post, I get downvoted on. So what if I have grown tired of hanging my PC up every time I move? It's a damn process. So I bought an SFX power supply, an ITX motherboard, and to be safe, a 240 mil AIO. Most ITX SFF cases, if they support water cooling, will only support this size. Then I looked at all the parts next to my old PC parts and thought, this is the way, and was tempted to throw these parts on the board, as ITX was this wall mounts PC's true form. Maybe someday, but not today. YouTubers love the NR200P. I guess you can't hit the dislike button anymore. Here are 10 things I hate about it. 1. There is no support for a top-mounted radiator. The orientation that is most aesthetically pleasing is mounted at the bottom, which is terrible for an AIO long-term life. This is just negligent that they have even instructions for this. 2. In order to properly mount the radiator, they have included a side bracket, which covers up all the internals. The included glass window is useless because the other side is basically the back of the motherboard. 3. Because the radiator is mounted on the side, the included riser is useless. There isn't enough room for the radiator and the GPU on the same side. Same problem if you are air cooling. 4. This case half-assly supports micro ATX. I don't know. Mine doesn't fit right because of the external PCU cable. 5. This case half-assly supports full-size PSU, which requires a 3D print of the mount because no place carries the mount separately. 6. The included magnetic dust filter for the bottom, as soon as you mount anything to the bottom fans or radiator, the screws get in the way of the filter sticking to the bottom. Basically, everything included at this point is useless. 7. The external PSU cable routed at the top. Anytime I want to cut the power to the PSU, I need to open the case. 8. 
waste of space due to the design of this case from the external PSU cable to the faceplate. It didn't need to be this big, especially since you can't do the things that would justify the size such as a micro ATX or a full size PSU. 9. Paint shavings everywhere. Probably not a problem with the black variant, but damn. 10. Plastic feet. The case looks and feels very nice until you get to the bottom. So I bought the mesh Meshlicious and I'm a happy camper. It's even smaller than the NR200P and was way easier to build in. This is not even its final form. I'm going smaller. The Meshlicious was the baby of Lian Li and Form D. Form D is responsible for probably the smallest PC that can fit large GPUs and a 240 radiator. Version 2.0 of their T1 is set to come out real soon. In true YouTuber enthusiast practice, you'll see reviews by the time it is no longer available to buy. Do yourself a favor and join their subreddit or frequent their website now. Okay, before anybody says anything, you can get a new version of the NR200P, which supports a top mount radiator. But consider that there are three versions of this case out there, and be careful as to which one you get if you really, really want it. It's a pretty case, and if you don't mind side mounting a radiator and not displaying parts, it's really a clean, medium sized case. Cooler Master was trying to fix their case with each version at the expense of the consumer when these issues could have been solved in a focus group. For that, I resent them. Shoot me a like and subscribe. I know I talked a lot of shit about the NR200P, but should I do a giveaway? Peace.